evening ladies and gents and uh, I'm going to show you a bit of London's abandoned railway history. Piccadilly Strand, the abandoned station or entrance, the station of Piccadilly Strand Station. This ain't going to be a very long one, sorry, pardon my smoke, I am smoking for anyone that dislikes that. Tough shit. Um, yeah, and you've got a nice sunset coming down. You've got the church at St Mary Le Strand there, the station there. Then you, over there you've got the church of St Clement Danes, uh, Australia House, quite a lot. But yeah, all the Christmas stuff's down this way. Picture of that. Zoom out, that's it. But they're another, and it doesn't say what they are. The voice line, that's it. This is called the voice line. They just talk. If you hear the high sound of what might be a soprano in the background, that's a feeding call as groups of animals come together to feed on school fish. So this sort of cacophony of sounds that you're hearing are the voices of many individuals, not just one whale, but many individuals that have all come back to a foraging ground that they return to year after year after year in some cases to maintain relationships that will persist for decades. These are voices of animals interacting with each other in a space that they are very familiar with. Headphones on, I can hear nothing but the screaming whir of engines and the vibration of machinery as it propagates through the ocean. But then there have been periods, like during the pandemic, when the ocean grew quiet, when we had a moment where we mimicked the world before technology, an ocean that sounded like one before the Industrial Revolution, before industrial whaling before steamships and computers and the dings of our of our telephones telling us we have a message, the ocean sounded intact. And in those two contrasting moments, the voices of the whales themselves changed. And the way that the whales interacted with each other shifted based on how the ocean sounds. And it changes from hour to hour and minute to minute and day to day. And it's very hard to predict what the ocean will sound like in the future, but I hazard to guess that it will not sound the way that it does now. I hope it will be quieter. We have an opportunity to make changes, and we have a choice 
about what we do with our technology. And we have choices that we get to make about how we want to interact with the natural world. Humans are remarkably innovative. When we pick a mission, we almost always succeed. We can put men on the moon and put on the ocean. university campuses and art institutions. But what will it sound like in the next 100 years? Now, on the voice line, we hear from King's College students on their vision of the future. Well, we're coming up to um, 10 minutes on this one guys and girls so this is a Facebook YouTube TikTok Instagram everything Montreal place and we're at um, Canada house and whatnot the Canada and Canadian Embassy and such like so yeah And those bells that you can hear or possibly hearing are the bells of St. Clement Danes. And we're looking at St. Clement Danes now, coming up to it. 
and I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching.